I focus a lot on diseases of the optic nerve. So optic neuritis, which can often be an early presenting symptom of multiple sclerosis or a stroke to the eye, to the optic nerve, as well as more with visual processing. So patients will come in and complain of problems with their vision. They'll have a normal ophthalmologic examination, but really the problem is more with visual processing. And so it actually might have been a stroke to the back of the brain. And with my training with neurology and in ophthalmology, you know, maybe to integrate that and look in other areas that the ophthalmologist might not necessarily be comfortable with. I typically have patients that are referred by ophthalmology, other neurologists, because a lot of times they don't have the specialized equipment to look into visual complaints that they think may be related to MS or, you know, some other neurologic condition, as well as primary care physicians. So typically with ophthalmology, they'll, if somebody's complaining of a vision change or vision loss, they focus more on the structure of the eye including the retina, but a lot of ophthalmologists aren't very comfortable with the optic nerve. And so if that appears to be what the problem is, then that's where I specialize. So I do a similar exam to what the ophthalmologists do, as well as um, any component of the neurologic examination that's needed and help combine and interpret uh, imaging studies, MRIs, things that might have been obtained. Sometimes it's something I can treat with steroids, prednisone, there's a condition that young people get that can cause optic nerve swelling called idiopathic intracranial hypertension, which I treat and monitor, pseudo, also known as pseudotumor cerebri. If the cause of vision loss is from a tumor, you know, then I would refer them to neurosurgery.